Hello everyone, this is Devansis Krishna. So today we will discuss how to calculate SGP and CGP. And after calculating CGP, how we will know the percentage? What is the percentage? How we will calculate the percentage? And what is the rule for your percentage? That particular rule is with me for PPUT. I will tell after the calculation. That is with me. You can see here. Okay. So I have a particular mark sheet. We will see the credit point and grade point. That is, I have written here. This is for subject one. Credit three, grade is B. Credit three, grade is D. Subject one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven subjects. That means that is both for a theory and practical. Okay, so we will calculate the SGP first. So you can see here clearly SGP is six point four three. You can see six point four three. So now we will calculate manual. There is a grade point you can calculate, but I will tell the method how you can calculate the SGP. It will be easy whenever we will calculate manual. So okay, we will go point by point. So this is the mark of one student. And this is your grade point. This is your grade point, and this is your grade. Okay. From 91 to 100, we know this O grade. Clear. And your grade point is K. Why this grade point? I will tell whenever we will calculate. Then 81 to 9 is E grade, and your grade point is 9. I will tell how. 71 to 8 this A grade, and your grade point is. Eight. Then sixty-one to seven is B grade, and grade point is seven. Then fifty-one to sixty it is C grade. We know all these things. Then its grade point is six. Then your pass mark. I have already told you it is thirty-seven. Thirty-seven to fifty it is B grade, and your grade point is five. And you always remember, students, fifty-one to sixty C grade is pass for. Your laboratory or seminar or project, but theory pass grade is D. But for practical or seminar, bhaiwa pass grade is C. D grade is L grade. Clear? Then we will calculate. First of all, we will see credit point is three. You have score B. तुम्हारा credit point three है. तुमको पता है सिलाबस में लिखा हुआ है credit point three लेकिन तुम B grade में clear किए हो. So कैसे calculate करें? सो ये है थ्री सब थ्री लिखना है बी बी मतलब सेवन ग्रेड पॉइंट इज सेवन सो यू हैव टू राइट थ्री इंटू सेवन क्लियर स्टूडेंट्स प्लस क्रेडिट पॉइंट थ्री यू हैव क्लियर द पेपर इन डी ग्रेड सो डी ग्रेड मतलब थर्टी सेवन टू फिफ्टी एंड फाइव सो इट इज थ्री इंटू फाइव This is the manual method. Very easy method, but this is the manual method. Then plus four credit. So simple, right? Four into D grade. D grade means five plus. Then three three into D grade is five. Clear? Then four. Four into C grade. C grade is six. Six plus. Then two credit. Two into C grade. C grade means six plus two into A grade. A grade means eight. Plus two into a grade. A grade means eight. Plus two into a grade. A grade means eight. Plus two into a grade. A grade is eight. Plus one into E grade is 
9. Please calculate. Please calculate the value. It is 21 plus 15 plus 20 plus 15 plus 24 plus 12 plus 16 and how much it is 180 it is 180 total calculation is 180 then you just count the credit point 3 plus 3 4 6 3 3 6 plus 4 10 plus 3 3 3 6 4 10 13 17 19 21 23 25 27 28 18. credit point is 28 28 if i am not wrong it is 28 so please please divide 180 divided by 28 180 divided by 28. It is 6.42. This is your this is your SGP. Clear students? This is your SGP. Manually you can calculate in this particular manner. You have to calculate this value. Then you have to add this credit point. Then you will simply divide 180 divided by all the credit points. You will get your S this is your SGP, not CGP. SGP. This is your SGP. SGP is 6.47. Then question arises. How do you calculate the CGP? So for calculating CGP, what will you do? Suppose in the first semester you have score, we will see here. You have score 6.47. For 2, for 3, approximately uh, it is correct. So you can take the exact value 6.43, and in the second set you score 6.96. So you see here in first semester you have scored 6.43, in the second semester you score 6.96. Please add this value and divide it by 6.43 plus 6.96. 6.43 plus 6.96 how much it is 6.43 first semester you have scored so it is 13 point 13 point 39 and it is 2 semester result so divided by 2 what will be the result 6.95 cgpa is cgpa is 6.95 6.95 CGP is 6.95 you can see here six point nine six six point six point six nine five six point six point six nine five okay CGP is six point six nine five so it is approximately six point seven zero so you can see here clearly CGP is six point seven zero so how you can calculate 2 SGP divided by 2? Agar tum logo ka 8 semester hai, so you will add this 8 and will divide it by 8. So you will get the CGP. So now we clear all about SGP and CGP. Then, then how you calculate the percentage? So simply, so simply the formula which is clear. So we will see, we will calculate the percentage. Simply you see, equivalent percentage of mark is equal to CGPA minus 0 0.50 into 10. CGPA minus 0 0.50. So suppose your CGPA is 6.9, then minus 0. 5 into 10. So it is your percentage. So it will be, I think, uh, 64%. Sorry, I am not correct. 6.9 minus 0 0.5 into 10. 
into 10 it is 64 percent if i am not wrong it is 64 percent so in that particular manner you will calculate the percentage in bpu in bpu this is the rule for bpu this is the clear rule and regulation what is your cgpa minus 0.5 into 10 that will be a percentage so clear so ehi tha update अगर कुछ डाउट है तो मुझे कमेंट करके बताओ न्यू हो तो सब्सक्राइब जरूर कर लेना ऐसे न्यू अपडेट फिर मिलेंगे नेक्स्ट वीडियो में थैंक यू